The Reproductive Health Day uh, conference that we have here is uh, amazing in a number of ways because it brings together both clinicians and basic researchers who work at Baylor College of Medicine uh, at one place. So now we get a perspective of what happens in the clinic and using that knowledge we can go back and apply that to our research. So it's a one-stop destination if you really want to know what are the really cool things that we do uh, in reproductive biology and medicine here at Baylor College of Medicine. Um, to have a, uh, a, an, an interdisciplinary, interdepartmental, interinstitutional effort to study all aspects of reproductive medicine, reproductive biology in the male and female uh, is, uh, is really uh, an extraordinary uh, goal and, uh, and being very well accomplished here by the center. So we're very proud of it. I think it's one of the, uh, the, the, the great uh, centers at Baylor uh, and uh, its presence in the medical center and presence nationally and internationally is being very highly recognized for, for good reason. So Reproductive Health Research Day is really the culmination of a year's worth of hard work and I think it enables basic scientists, translational scientists and clinical scientists to come together and find common ground and to also educate each other. One of the most common comments that I heard today was, I learned so much. And all of these individuals are experts in reproductive medicine, and yet the breadth and depth of our faculty and our speakers was really very representative of the diversity of topics that, that encompass reproductive medicine. What I'm going to be talking about today is uh, the group of diseases that represent the most common affliction of girls and women who live in poverty. Uh, we call them the neglected tropical diseases and people don't ordinarily think of them as issues of girls and women, but in fact they are the most common diseases of, of the poor. I, I think it's very important that uh, the Center for Reproductive Medicine uh, puts on an annual research day. Um, we, we urgently need new uh, approaches to taking on the major reproductive health issues, not only here in Texas in the United States, but globally. Uh, we need a new generation of diagnostics, a new generation of medicines, a new generation of vaccines. And uh, these kinds of events are really important for bringing everyone together to really uh, share common knowledge and interests about, about how we're going to address uh, some of the most important uh, issues, especially those affecting girls and women. To be chosen as a poster winner in today's uh, symposium was uh, fantastic. Uh, I loved the opportunity to talk and it was uh, really great to actually present my work in front of this audience. Collaboration and networking are huge. Um, no one does science in a silo anymore. We don't work individually, we work as teams. And I think that we saw wonderful examples today of teamwork and individuals with multidisciplinary expertise working together to really achieve great results and great progress in advancing our understanding of the various problems of reproductive medicine. Today has been a wonderful day of learning about the collaborations within the Center for Reproductive Medicine and understanding what the researchers are doing both in the lab and clinically to solve these problems. When people get together and share the research, they're able to promote their ideas and to make collaborations which can form better projects for the future and answer clinical questions. I was impressed by the diversity of the speakers, um, but even more so by the energy and the passion that they had for their science. I think it's important to come to a research day such as uh, the one hosted today by Baylor in that it, um, for me, is a real uh, exciting thing to share my science with other scientists um, and learn from them, uh, as I did today, on many new topics in uh, reproductive biology, the both female and male side of things. I'm very impressed with the Center for Reproductive Health here at Baylor. It's an internationally recognized group of scientists um, uh, with outstanding uh, research programs in both male and female reproduction, and I've been really delighted to be a part of it today. Events such as this really are cross-disciplinary and bring, bring people together from different disciplines to address a specific health issue such as those associated with reproductive medicine and reproductive health. And it's that kind of experience that I think young people, uh, especially young uh, graduate students and postdocs, don't get often enough. And so this is a, a great event to bring people together around the concept of reproductive medicine and reproductive health. To bring together a group of people who have a common interest in reproductive health and reproductive biology and medicine uh, just produces sort of a, 
a synergy of communication that, uh, that really can only occur in this type of setting of scientific exchange. I don't think that there's a single individual who has not had some problem that is reproductive medicine based at some time throughout their lifespan. It affects virtually all of us.